Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Schools here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use one of the most underrated operators in Siege and turn him into an absolute powerhouse for getting in the map and executing and planting the bomb. Now, of course, you saw from the thumbnail and the title, the operator I'm talking about is Grim, and while almost nobody uses him, not just his gun is what makes him powerful, his gadget is super, super good for denying areas from defenders and taking map control and not allowing the defenders to retake that map control, at least without giving away some critical intel on their position. So today I'm going to be going through you, with you guys five different strategies that you can use to get in the building and get the bomb planted and force the defenders back to give you that space to take the site. And yeah, let's get right into it. Alright everybody, so our first Grim Strat is going to be taking place here on the map of Border if the defenders are playing on the Ventilation and Workshops bomb site. So, this is typically a site where you would want to, you know, take upstairs first, get some vertical control, try to move the defenders around out of Workshop, and then potentially either drop the hatch into Workshop or go for a plant near the vents window. But we can bypass absolutely all of that with just a couple grim B charges, and I'm going to show you how to do just that. So... The strat really only requires a couple people, but it does have some things that you want to do first. So, number one, since you're going to be kind of playing outside this main door, it can help to at least put some kind of intel uh, to make sure they don't run out on you from detention. And also, since you're going to be playing outside of this vents window, it might have might be helpful to have a claymore watching this jump out from this window, and also this jump out from this window. But without further ado, let's get started with the actual strategy here. So, the first thing that's going to happen is you want to have someone outside main door right here. And then you, as Grim, are going to shoot open that door. And you're going to put down two critical Grim charges. Now, number one is right here at the bottom of metal stairs. The other one is right here in the server door. Now, this is going to prevent anybody from either coming down metal stairs or coming down from this side over here and swinging into the west main lobby. And then... Once these two Grim Charges are down, you're going to run in here. There's usually a rotate there. You're going to Grim that off. And really, on defense, what you should be doing is making feet holes all across this entire site. But a lot of teams don't do that. And even if they do, you can still get away with a really cheeky plant right here. So once your plant goes down right there, you as Grim have a couple options. You can either sit here and play in the site. Or if you really want to be safe... You can just run back again, this doorway is going to be beat off, that doorway is going to be beat off, and the rotate is all going to be denied with bees. And you can come out here, sit outside the main door, again, diffuser planted right there, which can be super easily covered from the window. Again, this window over, it is essentially impossible to diffuse without just getting beamed. So, if they have proper vertical holes in sight, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but even if they have that... You can just go up here. And just by opening this wall, which again, you can also do as grim with these hard reach charges. And with this open, you can see every single part of armory except for this little piece behind the half wall here. So unless they're playing behind the half wall and trying to deny the plant, you can see any area up here that is trying to you know um deny your plant from above so yeah that is a phenomenal grim strategy you can use definitely not one that you should use every single time you attack this bomb site especially twice in one game uh, yeah, enemies will certainly catch on but it's a really hard strategy to deny just because again the defenders are kind of forced back there's not really much they can do to actually kind of retake the map control and push through uh to kill you while you're planting so moving on to the next one Alrighty, folks, moving on to our second Grim Strat. We are staying right here on the map of Border, this time when you're attacking the Archives and Armory bomb site. Now, this strat has a little bit more setup than the previous one, but still shouldn't be too bad. You want to start by definitely getting a Claymore on this window and potentially uh, on this window in case they want to jump out that. So, two Claymores right over there. And then, as for uh, this side of the map, you probably want to open the office window, uh, potentially uh, take the top of East Stairs and or just put some kind of uh, flank denial uh, device like a nomad charge or a gridlock trap on that set of stairs to make sure nobody flanks it or pushes onto the top of that stairs to keep the people who are going to be sitting on this balcony safe and then also maybe either a claymore or just you know having control of the office room to keep people from jumping out of that window and you know being very very annoying to anybody trying to sit on this balcony over here or this events balcony right here so 
what are we going to be going for here? This is a very simple, just kind of archives execute strat. You want to be running some kind of shield operator outside of this door right here. You're going to throw smoke grenades, one right here and one right here. This one to prevent people from, you know, kind of walking through into archives. And this one to block lines of sight from anybody who wants to open this wall, which is usually the case that that wall is opened. Then once your planter, aka the shield, is ready, you're going to go ahead and prone right here as Grim. And you're going to be off right there. And you're just going to hit the ceiling because the bees will drop then onto the ground. You go one, two, three. And I personally like to go for a fourth one there in armory for even more denial and i'll run in here while these bees are going and look at this completely the entire site is just covered in bees anybody playing in this entire site no matter where they are even far in the corner will be getting pinged and you will know exactly where they are the whole time and again even with that last one going up here roughly uh you will be able to see anybody in this part of armory too anybody who tries to get close enough maybe to throw a smoke or a c4 over the top of this wall or anybody who tries to push up and peek onto your window will be getting pinged and really they won't be able to do much because again you will have this smoked you will have this smoked so anybody getting pinged you know like let's say they walk up here they will be getting pinged and you can just shoot them straight through the smoke easy peasy kills and they'll be pretty helpless so unless they have a warden that is able to see through the smoke and kill them and even then it should be pretty difficult because like I said, the defender or the attacker planting the bomb will have a shield on their back, ideally to be denying those uh, stray bullets from coming in. So then after that, your plant should go down uh, right here. But if you're worried about C4 from below, you can just kind of make your way over onto this corner. Uh, the floor here is hard and you cannot be C4 here. So getting a plant down here makes you safe from C4. And then all you got to do, play outside this window as, as Grim, presumably. Or, you know, you can rotate over to this balcony. As long as you have somebody on this window, someone on that balcony, it should be an easy round win from there. So moving on to strategy number three. All right, everybody. Strategy number three is bring us to the map of bank. And uh, the strategy, I, I know I'm holding the shotgun, but you don't need the shotgun for the strat. I just kind of used it to make some, open up the hatches and make some extra holes. Uh, that will be typical for any defender setup and, you know, so that I could show you what's going on a lot easier here. So, on the map of bank, when you're attacking the basement, ignore these these bombs here. These are just put in here by the the game, you know, when I, when I went into this custom match. But we're assuming they are downstairs here. So... Typically, you would, you know, one of the first things you would do on attack is take open area and open up these hatches here. Of course, Grim, very self-sufficient operator here with the hard breach charger. So as long as there's no Cade being annoying and getting in your way, you should be able to open up both of these hatches fairly simply. And now, for the execute, the main goal, of course, is to push the defenders back. Anybody playing in CCTV or Red Hall, because of course the people in this Red Hall right here can, uh, they can actually, you know. Um, Whatchamacallit, they can they can use their utility, right, to deny the plant. They can throw smokes, they can throw C4s, and you obviously don't want any of that shenanigans going on. So, here's what we're gonna do about it. We are going to take Grim here. And when our planter wants to go for a plant, presumably uh, in the corner right by that desk, what we are going to do is we're gonna do a couple things with our bees. We don't want them firstly pushing through this door. It's very typical for defenders to have high holes here, so you could actually shoot a hole right there, or you could simply put it on the door. That's going to be B number one. Alternatively, B number one. B number two, you're going to put deep here in Red Hall. Again, usually this wall is maybe not... You know, usually you'll find head holes in this wall or high holes like this. But sometimes it will not be, so you could just shoot that hole there. Or if it's reinforced, shoot it into that door. And your final one is going to be going deep here into the Red Hall. See if I can line this up. Uh, if not, you could just... Uh, Try to open lower than this wall, which I did not do, but, you know, you could shoot this out. Probably the rifle would be better for that, but just shooting out that little part of the wall there. And then once you've done that, coming back up here and firing your bees right on there. So now, as you can see, this entire part of Red Hall is now completely flooded with bees and presumably with these other charges going down. Basically, nobody would even be able to get close to this door without being pinged. And again, if you see this trick right here, I'll go back up and show you. Most people actually do not do this, but by opening this part of the little cubicle here, you can actually get an angle on to see people playing at the bottom of main stairs or in garage and anybody walking through this door. So it actually gives you a much deeper angle to stop rotations from coming through the site 
than you otherwise would be able to get. So maybe holding this angle would be beneficial. But either way, defenders cannot walk up in, like under this hatch, and they cannot walk anywhere in Red Hall without getting beads. So essentially, that would give your planter plenty of time to just kind of run in here, stick a plant down here, with uh, people you know, not really being able to walk up on this rotate, or people not being able to walk up in the hallway. And if you really want to get sneaky about it, one of my favorite spots to plant is just having your planter send it down through this hatch and stick a plant down uh, right here, which of course you can cover very easily from the hatch. And even if you wanted to, you could cover from all the way upstairs, uh, which is a very beautiful way to play that post plant. But honestly, whichever place you want to plant in, it is phenomenal because, again, the defenders cannot play anywhere in Red Hall, which makes this an extremely easy win. Moving on to number four. All right, everybody, moving on to number four here, deep in the French mountains, we are on Chalet, and so I'm going to talk to you about a really easy Grim Strat you can use to take control of the piano room. So essentially, uh, when they're uh, attacking upstairs, piano is one of the most important rooms you want to take, right, because it gives you some phenomenal crossfires into this rotate here, and it also basically just denies defenders from taking out anybody trying to get a plant down behind the half wall. So it's a really powerful room that if you hold, you can completely cut off defenders from rotating close to the site or even make an aggressive push deep into the site. So how do you use Grim to make this absolutely easy peasy? Well, when you're walking to piano, the main two crossfires that you have to deal with are this one, a swing from this little kind of wall over here and a swing over from this side because again defenders can get to either side very very easily and walking in here holding one of them leaves you vulnerable to the other and vice versa so how are we going to do this well we're just going to simply use our b charges right there and right there and now both doors and both avenues of swinging are completely locked off anybody who tries to you know walk through this rotate and get a swing off onto us as we're entering from over there and anybody pushing out from bathroom to try to get a swing on us from over here will be immediately pinged and promptly shot in the face so since they can't swing you this basically just allows you to walk in if you need to you can take a gunfight on somebody playing this rotate or someone playing behind this desk right over here, or someone playing this rotate. You can really do it however you want. If you want to get closer up right here, you can do it like this. But it just gives you the freedom to not have to worry about the main threat in, you know, pushing piano, which is people playing behind one of these two, these two barricades and put in conjunction with an execute through this main breach. You know, if you have someone just walking through the breach and plant while these things are beat off, it makes it extremely more difficult for any defenders to kind of walk up and deny that plant and uh, makes the planter's life very, very easy. And then, you know, of course, in a post plant, you have great positioning inside a piano, just sitting behind the piano holding down maybe this rotate or from this side and honestly since this only requires two bees this allows you to have a lot more usage out of Grimm's gadget later into the round in the post plant when the time crunch is real and defenders might be forced to actually push through those bees and get pinged and again promptly shot in the face moving on to our fifth and final strategy we're going to end it off on a bang all right, everybody, welcome back to strat number five, and I was not lying when I said we would be going out with a bang. This strat turns an almost unwinnable situation into one that you can definitely tackle with just a few gunfights and not worry about having to get, or not having to worry about getting shot in the back, which is just an absolute problem when you are trying to attack the throne and armory bombsite on theme park. So let's say the worst thing possible happens and your hard breacher dies or well there's just a cade or a bandit on the wall that you cannot get rid of. This is how you can come out with the dub on the site no matter what happens. Okay so you and hopefully a teammate you know unless of course you're in a one versus x situation in which you can still execute this strategy to great effect. We're going to shoot out the top of the wall in two places one over this wall and again over this wall and now we are going to be using our bees to kind of stop defenders from swinging up on us when we decide to push in through split so here's what we're going to do we're going to put our first set of bees over here we're going to fire them up into the wall and try to get them as far back as you can just to kind of deny swings from as far back as possible and again second bees going up over there again you could try to get them deeper into the site like that but you know it's kind of hard but either way let's hope those stay there and now, as we run around, you can see that a large, large area of this site, these bees went up over there, I'm just going to keep them alive just so we can see all of this area that they're denying, right about there. And look at this, this is absolutely beautiful. Anybody who would otherwise be able to get an angle onto split 
all the way into back here, they would still be getting pinged all the way back here. So they would just be forced so far back into the site that it essentially allows you to come over here and peak split without having to worry about anybody playing back into the throne, which is one of the you know great perils of pushing into split, right? You have to face this angle and you have to face this angle. With with but with those bees, you don't have to face that angle at all. You can just walk in here, quick check this angle, check anybody playing behind the fireplace. Those are of course the two most common positions or someone even tucked in this corner. And with these bees there, again, you don't have to worry about anybody flanking behind you. So you can just keep walking in, take gunfights, maybe some, there's some sitting here or in front of that wall or behind this piece of cover. You know, these are all gunfights that you could potentially take. But once you've cleared all these areas, killed one or two people, now it is an absolutely easy plant to stick down right here. If you still have grim charges left, firing one into this double door by quick peeking it or just shooting it at the ceiling. And putting another one in split to prevent people from retaking is an absolutely beautiful strategy to, again, turn an absolutely unwinnable situation. Trying to come through this door and check both sides at once is an absolute nightmare. But by using your bees to deny the area of one side uh, of, of the entire site, you can just simply walk in, take a couple gunfights. Potentially, if you win them, you can give yourself an absolutely easy plant and an even easier post plant by, you know, preventing the defenders from retaking the bomb site. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna do it for the five most powerful Grim strategies in the game that actually turn him into a very, very powerful operator. I hope you guys enjoyed them and I hope you guys learned something uh, from all of those strategies and you can implement them in their own game. They are all very powerful and especially if you have one or two people coming with you to kind of coordinate all th off of the beautiful effects that you get from firing those bees, you can absolutely make some great things happen. So yeah, if you guys want to see more kind of specialized strategy videos like that, I can definitely make more of them for you guys. So let me know in the comment section and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.